There's a dilemma which comes from a crocodile attack, hedonism isn't as pleasurable as it seems, and what triangle exists when it really shouldn't? These questions lie behind some of the most puzzling paradoxes in history. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 paradoxes that defy all reason. 25. Achilles and the Tortoise Paradox There's a famous story about a tortoise and a hare. Did you know that this is actually a version of an idea from the ancient Greek philosopher Zeno? His scenario sees the hero Achilles racing the tortoise. The tortoise gets a head start, which means Achilles will never beat his hard-shelled competitor. How come? Because despite being slow, the tortoise will have reached certain points in the race before Achilles, even though Achilles is faster. Confused? That's why it's a paradox. 24. The Paradox of Free Choice Anyone who's flipped through hundreds of channels to find the right show to watch knows that choice isn't always a good thing, and that right there is a paradox. Devised by psychologist Barry Schwartz in 2004, the paradox of free choice shows how we are hampered by choice rather than empowered by it. Even when you make a tough decision, it can turn out to be the wrong one. Freedom to choose? That's a contradiction in terms. 23. Paradox of Temperature Linguist Barbara Party produced this next paradox in the 70s. She argued that the temperature is 90. The temperature is rising. Therefore, 90 is rising. Hold the phone. 90 doesn't rise. It goes into 91, 92, and so on. So what was Party getting at? Well, semantics, i.e. the meaning and philosophical logic can both be used to resolve this particular issue. With some mental gymnastics, you can make the argument make sense. Uh, just about. It's confusing though, and would take a long time to explain. Never befriend a linguist unless you want a headache. 22. Bartrari's Paradox If you've ever had trouble describing something, like the, the plot of a movie for instance, then Bartrari's Paradox is right up your alley. The ancient Hindu philosopher concluded that something indescribable has, in itself, been described. It doesn't quite hold up under scrutiny, but hey, if it's good enough for Bartrari, it's good enough for us. 21. The Berry Paradox Librarian Gigi Berry thought up his own paradox, which was then popularized by the philosopher Bertrand Russell. Berry's paradox, or as I like to call it starting now, a berry dox, concerns a seemingly simple definition of a number. He describes an n number, meaning a natural number, as the smallest number not definable in less than 20 words. Wait a minute, how many words were in that statement? 10? So it's just been defined in less than 20 words. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, geniuses. 20. Paradox of the Court Ancient Greek philosopher Protagoras wanted to sue young legal scholar Euthylus. You see, while teaching Euthylus, Protagoras had made a deal whereby Euthylus agreed to pay him upon winning his first court case. Euthylus went on to win zero cases. Protagoras wanted his money anyway. He hoped to create a win-win situation by suing Euthylus. Even if the young man triumphed in court, he would still need to pay Protagoras because he'd won his first case. However, Euthylus got around this. He argued that he didn't owe Protagoras either way. If he lost, the deal was void. And if he won, the deal was void because he'd beaten Protagoras. Who was right? Uh, Your Honor, I call for a recess. 19. Epimenides Paradox Also known as the Liar's Paradox, this crazy idea should be approached with caution. It takes a simple sentence and twists it till you don't know which way is up. Here's uh, an example. This sentence is false. If that were true, then indeed the sentence would be false, yet if it were false, then it's also true. The sentence is demonstrably false, and that's an undeniable fact. Cue the paradox. 18. Crocodile Dilemma Paradox What is the crocodile's dilemma? Well, imagine a croc has a young boy in its mouth. This is one weird croc because it's possibly going to spare the boy's life and give him back to his mother. All mom needs to do is correctly guess the croc's true intentions. If she guesses it'll give the kid back and the croc was intending to do that all along, then everyone's a winner. However, if she figures the croc won't give up her child, it technically still has to return him. Why? Well, because her guess is correct. And under the terms of this odd agreement, the mom wins the bet. 17. The Paradox of Progress does it ever feel life is getting more complicated? That no matter how many labor-saving gadgets you buy, it just seems to make everything problematic? It's weird, right? Because modern technology is supposed to streamline our existence and solve these problems, so what gives? Welcome to the paradox of progress. We may be moving forward, but there's often a sense that humanity is heading one step forward and two steps back. 16. The Stockdale Paradox this complex paradox was the work of Admiral James Stockdale, who faced grueling challenges as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. Surviving against the odds is tough, and it 
just isn't a case of keeping your spirits up. Paradoxically, you must be pessimistic as well as optimistic in order to find the strength to endure. Stockdale argued that being totally optimistic led to a sense of false expectation, so you're better off embracing the painful truth of the situation and accepting it as part of the process. You can then find the faith to continue in a more realistic way. 15. Ironical Paradox did you know that the old principle of Murphy's Law comes from the field of aerospace? Coined by engineer Edward Aloysius Murphy Jr. in the late 1940s, it's summed up with the sentence, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. This ironical idea was expanded upon by another air expert, Colonel John Snap, who stated, the universal aptitude for ineptitude makes any human accomplishment an incredible miracle. Devised following an experiment with sleds, this paradox came from Murphy's Law. Needless to say, the colonel's belief in human ingenuity wasn't uh, very high. 14. The Interesting Number Paradox There is such a thing as an interesting number. Not only that, but it's very difficult to find an uninteresting number. Devised by a couple of mathematicians named G. H. Hardy and Srinivasa Ramanujan, this paradox effectively states that each number is a beautiful and unique snowflake. What constitutes an interesting number? Well, two is the smallest prime number, so it has a bit of history. Character, if you will. How about an uninteresting number? 11,630 is apparently a total bore. No fun at parties, I guess. The conclusion was reached by reworking the idea of interesting, which is interesting. 13. The White Bear Paradox. How many times have you been told not to think about something, only to think of it all the time? Being told not to only makes the situation worse, right? Someone who explored that idea was psychologist Daniel Wagner. In 1994, he described the white bear paradox, the image of which came from the writer Dostoevsky. Studying people who were instructed not to imagine a white bear, Wagner concluded that your brain kind of sabotages itself. It simultaneously ignores the bear whilst checking to see if it's there and bringing the image back. This is known as the ironic process theory. Another puzzling question is, why haven't you liked, shared, commented, or subscribed yet? I mean, it really helps the channel so we can keep making videos like this. Also, don't forget to check out our socials. 12. Stability Instability Paradox Nuclear weapons are seen as a necessity by some and a curse by others. Mutually assured destruction leads to the stability instability paradox. Dating back to the 50s and the Cold War, it outlines the contradictory idea that nukes both discourage and encourage conflicts. Big conflicts are off the table because all nuclear powers can obliterate each other. However, smaller ones are tolerated because they can always be halted before things go too far and the warheads come out. 11. Tritone Paradox When was the last time you thought about octaves? They're important when composing music, and their effect is dramatic. This was demonstrated by the Tritone Paradox, discovered by Diana Deutsch in 1986. Her studies found that people hear certain tones in very different ways, depending on how they perceive the octave. You might hear an ascending tone, or you might hear a descending tone. Deutsch used tritones to obtain this effect, as in tones that were separated by just half an octave. 10. Paradox of the Preface You can find a preface in a book, and that's exactly what the preface paradox from 1965 is concerned with. When it comes to a factual book, you'll hope that each detail is meticulously checked. Indeed, an author will declare that in the preface. However, this is contradictory, because while it's rational to assume all efforts have been made in terms of 100% accuracy, it's also rational to believe that humans aren't foolproof and make mistakes. So the book is both logically factual and logically inaccurate. 9. Penrose Triangle Paradox The Penrose Triangle, which got its name from father and son mathematicians Lionel and Roger Penrose in 1958, is a powerful optical illusion. It looks solid, but the more you study it, the less sense it makes. First depicted by artist Oskar Reutherschwart, a couple of decades earlier, it's also called the impossible triangle. This reason-defying shape seems like it's eating itself, and has bent many a mind in the shape of a pretzel. 8. Omnipotence Paradox Being omnipotent, or possessing godlike powers, isn't all it's cracked up to be. Trust me. The, <laughs> the omnipotence paradox underlines that situation pretty well. The trick lies in asking the all-powerful being to invent a problem for themselves, such as creating an object too heavy for them to pick up. Should they create a heavy object, and are unable to lift it, then they prove that there are limits to their powers. Bye-bye, omnipotence. The opposite situation is also bad news. If the being can't create the object in the first place, then it's another sign of weakness. 7. Sorites Paradox 
Derived from soros, the Greek word for heap, this next paradox is a whole heap of trouble. It can baffle the mind by revealing how a heap might not be a heap. How do you even judge what a heap is? Obviously, a whole bunch of garbage piled together is a heap. Yet, if you remove each piece of garbage one at a time, it winds up as a single item of garbage. It's not a heap now. It wasn't a heap when it was two pieces. Or three. See where I'm going? We don't have an exact number for when something crosses over into heap territory. And now the word heap sounds weird, so thanks for that. Six, hedonism paradox. The main thing about hedonism is that you do as you please to excess and feel great about doing it. Hedonists who want as much pleasure as possible, however, are doing themselves out of the very satisfaction they crave. This is the hedonism paradox. If pleasure seeking takes over your life, you will inevitably miss out on pleasure due to the fact that you're trying so hard to experience it in the first place. Five, pedo's paradox. This paradox was devised by epidemiologist Richard Pito in 1977. It explores the size of an animal or human in relation to their risk of developing cancer. It puzzled experts that a relatively large human with many more cells than, say, a mouse had the same level of risk. Cells naturally divide and potentially lead to somatic mutations, which in turn cause cancer. So wouldn't a bigger life form be more susceptible? Apparently not. Four. Enrichment Paradox The natural order of our planet is that predators pursue prey, but you can have too much of a good thing. The Enrichment Paradox, introduced by Professor Michael Rosenweig in 1971, concludes that if prey levels become too high, predator levels increase and grow out of control, and nature is nothing without a sense of balance. 3. Galileo's Paradox Numbers aren't as straightforward as you think. Mathematician Galileo Galilei opened a Pandora's box of problems when he began thinking about the differences between square numbers, as in numbers multiplied by themselves, and non-square numbers. Put as simply as possible, he realized there were more results than his theories could cope with. Even his brilliant mind couldn't apply rules to numbers that stretched on into infinity. Two, predestination paradox. Familiar with the plots of various sci-fi movies, the predestination paradox concerns the idea of a fixed timeline. Even if you can go back in time to change something, you'll get the same result anyway. This is confused by the likes of the Terminator franchise, where the future John Connor sends a soldier back to prevent an apocalyptic future from happening. By doing this, the soldier is erased, so technically the mission is futile and the future should go ahead as normal. But for some weird reason, it doesn't. 1. Lombard's Paradox Introduced by William Plimpton Lombard, the Lombard Paradox shows that the human body works in mysterious ways. Reason dictates that our hamstrings and quadriceps shouldn't connect together. One should contract and the other should relax. Yet, when we get up from a chair, they contract as one. This is a quirk of the muscular system that has created a small but significant paradox for students of the human body. So, what's your favorite paradox? And which one truly hurts your brain? Let me know in the comments. And if you feel like another dose of pure confusion, then check out our video about baffling scientific mysteries. The link for that is right here, and I will see you soon for a fresh list.